Hello, everybody. This is the Lamley Live unboxing here on Lamley Extras. Thought it would be a little Sunday treat for you. I can probably turn this into our Sunday chat uh, soon afterwards, but um, if we want to. But I want to get to this unboxing because it is an unboxing that I have never done before. I think it's fairly obvious what we're going to open because it says right on the box. Matchbox Real Working Rigs. I think this is the third mix. Um, and I'm going to get right to it as some of you, if, you, if you join us a little bit late, you can go back to the beginning afterwards because I'm going to, I want to get to the unboxing portion of it for those of you that just want to see that. And then if you want to stick around and do a little Q and A or something like that, we definitely can. But before I open this box, I, the, these are the only two real working rigs I have. I haven't necessarily collected them. Well, I haven't collected them at all. I just have two of the, of the same casting. Um, there's a bit of a history of these. It's kind of interesting. I remember being at the Matchbox Gathering, which is coming up here in a couple weeks. Oh, I don't know, about 10 years ago. And uh, Felix Holst, who was running Matchbox at the time, he eventually started running all of all of uh, Mattel's wheels division. He's no longer there. But uh, he put up a slide, and he, he had just shown all of the uh, upcoming models, and he put up a slide of a standard 164, I think, of a dump truck. And he said, this is unacceptable. It's okay to have these $1 cars but we need to do something that's bigger than a car. So we can't have like an Audi TT or a Volkswagen Beetle that is just as big as a truck. It's part, it's a, it's a necessity. It's part of what we do, but we are matchbox and we can do better and we can add a line. And that's when they introduced real working rigs, real working, real working rigs were, went on for about maybe four or five years, I think, and did somewhat well out of the beginning. There were some neat castings um, and then they vanished. A matchbox really had to simplify at the time. But they've been kind of doing all kinds of fun stuff, bringing back opening parts, and they decided to as well bring back the real working rigs. And we've seen, I think, two mixes so far, and then the Matchbox team sent me this one to open for you guys as well. So I think it's the third mix. I'm not entirely sure. I was trying to figure out by the, based on the codes. So these, I would guess, are in the stores already. Many of you might already have these, but I'm not entirely sure, right? Okay, that's two minutes of introduction. Uh, what they're kind of this is this is one of the new releases. This is actually this this particular truck right here was of the was one of the first ones ever done, and then uh, and it has you know moving parts like the bed moves, and um, it even has this little tow piece right here. So you can actually you know do a lot with it. I can um, in fact let me get out some Matchbox cars here. Let's see here. I'll just get out a couple right now. And you can, um, I don't know, this thing might be too big, but you can put one on right here. That's actually a little too big. Actually, what we'll do this, we can put this one on and then you can tow the other. I probably picked the wrong cars to do that with, but, uh, Anyway, moving pieces, and see, like this and like this, so you can get the car on and off, right? Cool, fair enough. So these are kind of cool, then they have they brought the casting back. Now that's, as far as introduction goes, I think that's good. So let's just open this up. It says eight pieces in here. I'm assuming there's some repeats, but I uh, haven't been following the real rookie rigs. You guys let me know. Um, if you, if this is, if the real working rigs are, uh, models that you pursue. All right. And if the, you, you collect, all right, it looks like we have one, two, oh, three of one here. So one, two, three, four castings in here and only one of this one. So we'll get right to it. And then we if you want to, we can open them up and there's only four to open. So we can definitely open up and showcase them as well. All right, first model is the, I think it's Scania, right? Scania Tactical Command Center. Now I am not sure which ones are new and which ones aren't. You can see that they run with the same themes, they run with the same art. This one has some, uh, looks like has a moving part to it. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I guess we'll look at it. Um, some sort of moving ladder or something like that. So we'll open this one up and, and have a look at it. Or 
right here. Put this off to the side for now. So two of those. Looks like it's kind of using some sort of European style because it is, is it Scania? Or Scania, Scania, I think it's Scania, Scania. All right, next one. These are cool. I mean, I actually, you know, when we get these out, these fit nicely with um, Hot Wheels Team Transport, I think. Okay, this is awesome. Check that out. And I think, I'm assuming this has uh, working treads on it. I'm not sure because it doesn't have any wheels on it. That is a heavy model. This is the uh, Matchbox Excavator, so unlicensed. And it looks like it has a working shovel. I don't know how much it moves and how much it pivots, but uh, we'll have a look at that one. And this one is, is this one, yeah, this one is in the INC or the ink livery. Michael Heralda started that and Matchbox has run with it. It is probably next to National Parks, the most popular ongoing livery that Ma livery that Matchbox does. And um, a lot of people collect them. I've, I've told my friend David Tilly, the Lee in Lamley, to uh, do a whole article on the Lamley blog about um, ink showing off uh, all of the ink models. And um, I hope he does. So three of the excavators, I assume they think that's going to be a popular one. And why wouldn't it be? It's cool. All right, next one. Only one of this one. Oh, this is cool. And this is licensed GMC 3500 and attenuator truck. See, I'm, I'm a car guy, not a truck guy. So I'm hoping I'm getting all these terms right. This one also has moving parts. So we're going to open all these because of the moving parts. That is a cool, so it's a highway truck, which is great. Highway colors. Artwork is great. It's part of the construction. Obviously the other one's construction too, the excavator. I like that one a lot. The one I missed, the one I used to have, and for some reason I got rid of, maybe I didn't, maybe it's somewhere in storage, is the um, snowplow. All right, Cement King HD. So this one might be new as well. I don't know, but the, it has the three axles on it. It has the cab that's very similar to what we've seen in some of the Matchbox basic models. Um, some of the basic trucks, but this one is obviously a much larger truck. These aren't completely to scale, right? I mean, you can't put that Mercedes, for example, next to this and it's totally to scale, but it's pretty good just having it that much bigger. This one has the uh, rotating piece and there's two of those. All right, let's open these up. Gotta move the box here. Those are easy unboxings. Okay. We'll just go from what we started with and then move backwards. Okay, let's start with this one. This is the Cement King HD. I don't know. I mean, I've already looked at the card art, so let's just open it up. Okay, so this has, so it has this uh, little spout piece that rotates. I don't think this moves up and down, but then the, this part rotates as well. So, and obviously it rolls. These are plastic wheels, in case you were wondering. That looks cool. See, these are, you know, I am gonna get out. Let's see if I can. These are kind of to scale with the, maybe the, maybe the, um, The team transport are a little bit bigger, but uh, here, I'll move that over here. We'll compare them later, but uh, yeah. Put these over here too. Sorry, I'm just kind of going, going as I go. So that's the, uh, that's the Cement King. GMC 3500 attenuator. Oh boy, I hope I get that right. Or so you guys are gonna let me have it. The art is really nice on these. Okay. Once again, nicely to scale. This uh, the cab is metal. The base is plastic. The rest of it is plastic. And then there's this piece right here that moves. Oh, see, there you go. Oh, okay. I get what it's doing here. It's telling you to move. It moves down. It's nice. If 
I had room for these, I would definitely collect them. And maybe I now that I have this, you know, these are cool. These are this set is cool. I think you can. It looks like you can take this out and switch it. I hope I, I hope I can. Yep. Snap it back into place. I think. There you go. What do you guys think of these? You think they're cool? These are, I think they run about five or six bucks each, right? If I remember correctly. We'll do the uh, excavator last. Next up is the Scania Tactical Command Center. So this is, it's got some weight to it. So it says it's got a ladder on it. Where is it? Oh, look. Oh, this is cool. So that snaps out and then there is, so there you can look at it. And then, oh, that's cool. There you go, that's how you get in there. I think the radar probably pulls up too, it does. Is that a radar piece? I don't know. That's cool. See, this is how I imagine Matchbox. You know, realistic cars, realistic vehicles, and these fit really nicely with everything else. That is a cool model. Just put it right, put the ladder right back in. I love that. That is cool. Okay, count me as a fan of that one. To really get a grip on this one to open it, but maybe after you do it a while, you'll get used to it. All right, last but not least, let's do the excavator. Like I said, this one is heavy. Compare it to the fire truck. I think I've got the fire truck right here. This one. So you can see the difference in scale. These are probably in real life similar sized, but obviously this is a dollar model and this one is a six dollar model, but um, you know it's more to scale. But they have to fit these in the blisters, so that's where it goes, right? So there's that one, but I, I do like that. All right, let's open this one. That is cool, right? I didn't know I didn't realize it did it either. I haven't paid a ton of attention to the real working rig. So I'm I am learning this as much as you guys are right now, to be perfectly honest. And um, this is making me um, this is making me kind of want them. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to want them because I don't have a lot of space, but they're cool. <sighs> don't you hate that? Matchbox knew what they were doing when they were sending these to me. Um, See, Michael's already saying, put more working rigs. You know what? I'll be at the Matchbox convention here in a couple weeks, and if there's some working rigs that like, uh, and for a, a good price, maybe I will, but see, oh, I'm going down a deep, dark hole that I'm a little worried about. Yeah, I don't know why there's only one GMC in there. Um, one of you made the comment that it's kind of annoying that there's only one. They try and think through strategically what's going to sell the best, so they must have their reasons to think of it, but... Um, Okay, this thing, all right, so shovel moves. It, go, it can go down and scoop and move, and then I think the, yep, this pivots, then it can dump. Yeah, it does this kind of, so this part kind of snaps back three different positions. Obviously, this part pivots, has the hydraulics in there, which is cool, and then it moves up and down that way too. And it kind of positions, it kind of locks. You can see that it kind of locks. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And then, so obviously this part is plastic, but this whole blue piece is metal and it's heavy. 
it is heavy. There's It's plastic on the bottom right here, and then this is metal. That's why it's heavy. So this part is metal too, and look at that. So I'm gonna try, I just hope you can see it, but look at that. Um, no wheels. That works. It doesn't, you, know, you can't really, but look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's a working piece. See that? The treads work. I'm assuming they're easy to take. Yeah, they're easy to take off, but they do fit. Actually, they snap in pretty good. Okay, that's a that's a really cool model. That is a really cool model. Look at that. Here. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of into this one. All of these are cool. Oh shoot. Problem, problem, problem. Now I'm liking them. And I think, you know, I mean if I like the Tomic Limited Vintage buses and I like all that stuff and I do like team transport. Oh no. Oh no. What do you guys think? Give me some comments on this right now. That's, but those are, that is, I think the next mix. Have you guys seen this in store? I haven't really looked. I've seen some others. Um, like there's that ink, um, scraper. Um, and I think I've seen some others, but now I'm going to keep my eyes open for these and see if they're there, but you guys can let me know if you've seen them in stores. Walmart is carrying them right now. I don't know if other stores are, but, uh, this, the excavator, you want it. I promise you, you want it. It is Super, super cool. Um, all right. <laughs> Die casting for you. Make me into a truck guy. Well, I like pickups. I like trucks too. You guys know I have a ton of the Tomica Limited Vintage trucks, and I think they're so cool. And um, no matter who you are, no matter what you like to collect in die cast, it's fun to have a few trucks as well. So um, you guys know, for example, I like uh, this hauler from Tomica Limited Vintage. And if I go, I even have the smaller matchbox hauler, which works actually pretty well. You can't get in there more, but wow, these are awesome. Which one's your favorite? I'd say it's the ex excavator for me, but um, the Scania truck and then the hauler, like I said, is great. All right, so that's the unboxing and showcase portion of it. We can go a few more minutes if you want to do a little, uh, I don't know, Q&A or anything like that. Hopefully, you guys, if you look in the background here, you'll see the uh, police station. Move this out of the way. The police station in the back. I opened that and did a video on it yesterday on the Lamley channel with a whole bunch of Tomica Limited Vintage police cars. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I suggest you go and do it. Um, as far as um, Isaac likes the GMC, um, Ronald liked the cop car video. I, I think I mentioned at the beginning of that video. I love doing it. Um, I had so much fun with it that um, I, um, if I was the only one who ended up watching it, I would be happy I did it because it was so much fun. So yeah, so here's the, here's what's coming up this week so far. Tonight, I showcase the Willys Gasser, the Willis Gasser on the Lamley YouTube channel. So that's coming up tonight. That's a fun video. It's already done, ready to go. It debuts at seven my time, whatever. I'm in Mountain Standard time. Tomorrow, I think I'm doing either end case highlights or Auto World. Um, it'll probably be Auto World uh, release three. Um, I'm working on that video. Those are some really cool models for looks to look for that one. That's an unboxing and preview. And then Tuesday will be the end case unboxing, my end case unboxing. Wednesday will be probably the highlight video. And then I've got Tarmac Works coming up. I've got. Um, Oh, I've even got to do Matchbox Moving Parts, the ne next Moving Parts unboxing. Um, that video is done, too, and that might be tomorrow, actually, and then Auto World after that. I've got a lot to do. So um, that unboxing is, I already filmed it, but I have, I have to put it together. So lots to do, lots to do, but I've, you might have seen I have the uh, wagons out for part of the Auto World showcase. How much money do you, I think I spend on everything I buy? I have no idea. Jared wants Jimmy Lou. I'll see if Jimmy wants to pop on one of these days, and I'll be talking to Jimmy in other ways too pretty soon. So 
you'll have a chance. I don't know how much money I spend. Some models, um, as I do tell you, like all this real working rigs, Mattel sent these to me. I wouldn't call them free because I work very, very hard to create this stuff and these showcases for you and these channel and the audience and the blog and everything else. So they feel like it's worth sending to me. And a lot of the stuff I don't keep, I just donate to the children's hospital, but just depends. But I, um, I, the best way to do it, and this is why sometimes people get mad at quote unquote scalpers. If someone goes into a store and just buys everything just to sell, that's kind of, that's kind of lame. I get it. At the same time though, if you found a super treasure hunt that you're not too fond of and you could turn around and trade it for two models you want or another super you want, or you could sell it for a certain price and then use that money to buy some die cast you want, that's how it works. Because then the person who bought that model is happy they bought it, hopefully. And now you have money to spend on cars that you want. So that's a, a lot of way that I built my collection. If I found a few supers, I'd sell a couple and use that money to buy the cars I want. And, uh, and then when I got tired of a model, and you'll see that occasionally I do my little purges, I'm going to be doing some more uh, later this month. I put those models up, and then that money that I make, I can turn around and uh, use on other cars I want. So that's how to do it. It's just the way to do it. What else, guys? Yep, Bugatti. I'll do, be doing the Bugatti this week. Um, I should have it all tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have time to put a video up Monday. That's why I'll probably do the Matchbox unboxing or the, or the Auto World, but it will be later. How do I work? do a blog and a YouTube channel. I just, I, I have it down to a system. I'll put it that way. And when I can do live videos, that makes it easy because I can just start it, talk to you guys and stop it. But, um, and that also allows me to spend more time on those videos. I love doing with the music and the cool shots and the, all that stuff. I really like doing those. I like to make this hobby a little more dramatic than maybe it is. Make it, uh, Wait till you see how over the top dramatic the uh, Willie's Gasser video is that I did. It is ridiculously over the top, but it's awesome. So much fun and uh, makes uh, makes the release of the Willie's Gasser far more dramatic than it probably should be. But why the hell not, right? Make it fun. I, I appreciate that you guys like these channels and like these videos because I really enjoy doing them and I want to make them interesting. I don't want to make them like... Uh, like everything else. Everybody has their niche and there's some great channels out there and I've got mine, which is for you collectors. Thanks, Ronald. If you guys ever have any ideas, you let me know. But there's more stuff coming um, under the Lamley name and we'll talk about that later. So what else, guys? Sorry, I just promoted myself for the last couple of minutes. Should I get the Matchbox Nissan? I, well, if, Wesley, if you like it, get it. I can't tell you what you like or don't like, but uh, I think it's a cool casting. You want to see some Ford trucks? Let me see. More Pierce Velocity ladder, sure. Let's see, Ford trucks, Ford trucks. Hot Wheels or Matchbox? So here's some. This is the brush fire truck from Matchbox. That one was at SEMA. And then they actually have this actual truck. If you look it up, maybe even Google Matchbox brush fire truck and you'll see pictures of the real thing. And it might be at the gathering this year, I'm not entirely sure. Then there's the contractor truck, which I think is kind of cool. Um, the old Ford Classic with moon eyes, and that was a panel van as well. There's the gathering model. Here's something interesting. Remember the Fisker Karma? I know that's not what you asked for, but... I should do a video on the Fisker Karma one of these days. Um, steak truck. Then there's the uh, Super Lift. Of course, the Raptor. I don't even have my Raptor in here that has... Uh, 
my face on it only because it's up on the wall. But those are some of the Raptors. So there's some Ford trucks. Any more Shuko? Not I only the ones I showed, and then if I get more, if they uh, if Miho Exclusives is doing more, then uh, I'll definitely show them for sure. I, I I a lot of you guys like the Shuko video. You're welcome, Grady thirty four. Do I have any cool vans? You don't have to be specific. Yeah, I do. Um, tons of them. The bet. The, you want to know the coolest van? I'll go get it right now. The coolest van in my collection. See if you guys, based on what you've seen on the Lamley Group blog and the Lamley channel, what I would think is the coolest van in my collection. Do I know the RLC RWB is still in for July? I don't know. And then the, the team transport, I don't know. I've seen some details on both of those, some things that haven't been seen, and they're awesome, but I don't know what the timing is. You guys like the Gretty video. That was fun. I've got another one with uh, uh, Rio Asada. He put together some ideas for me to share, and I'll be doing that one soon as well. So, all right. New Matchbox case. Haven't heard anything about it. Matchbox sent me all the stuff that I, like the opening parts and this real working rigs. They sent me some five packs too. Um but they don't have the basic yet. It's not here yet. So the only one that we have is, um, oh, Moon Eye Super Treasure Hunt Van. That's a good call. That's a good call. Um, does the gold six by six have an interior? Yes, it does. Do I have that here? Don't have it in front of me. I didn't mention that, did I, in the video? Hold on here. I can't find it right now, but yes, it does have an interior. So oh, let me go get the cool van. Any M2 machine videos coming? Um, yes, I think so. I'm gonna try and compare. You guys have already seen, I know a billion people have shown the um, the AutoZone square bodies, but I might, since I'm gonna be one of the first people to have the um, AutoWorld square body, I hope I am one of the first, they're supposed to be sending them to me. Um, I'll do a comparison video on those if you guys want me to. I'll show the two since they're both brand new. Um, it'd be fun to put those together. So I can do that. Let me find that van. So someone said the Moon Eyes Dodge Van Super Treasure Hunt. That will be, I'll just say this, that will definitely be, if I do a video and I'm planning on it eventually, on the 10 best Super Treasure Hunts of all time, I promise that that one will be in that video. But it isn't the coolest van ever done. The coolest van in my collection. I, I have been looking at the comments. I don't think anyone has said it yet, but um, I'll give you guys one couple, like a couple more seconds to try and guess what the coolest van is in my collection. And I'll give you a hint, it's a Hot Wheels. Ronald said super fast matchbox van, it's not, but it's, I have that in the collection. I'm holding it right here. It is premium. Not the cool combi super treasure hunt. That's a good one too, though. Isaac got it. The super van. That's the coolest one. It's a near perfect replica of the actual super van. One of the best videos out there. Look it up. Look up the Ford super van, the Ford Transit super van um, on YouTube and look for the footage of this 
actual the actual car. And then if you if you were to open this up, if you or if you look through the window, you would see that it actually has a Ford GT engine in it, Ford GT40. And Mark Jones designed this, and if you look at it too, it has a slight reverse rake, sits a little higher in the front, and that's what the actual transit super van look like. It is such a perfect casting. It's only been in like, you know, it, it obviously was in the Gulf colors for car culture and it's been in pop culture since, but this version right here is perfect. It's perfect. And uh, it is the coolest van in my collection. So that's it. We're over 30 minutes, guys. Um, so I'm going to shut this down, but uh, for those of you who stuck around, great. For those of you who just wanted to watch the uh, unboxing portion of it or the real working rigs, great. Here's what I, in the last 30 minutes of doing this video, here's what I figured out. Real working rigs are super cool. They're fun to showcase. I'm going to talk to Matchbox about showcasing them some more. Um, and if you guys like them, not only here on the live comments, leave comments in the actual comment section before you go on whether you like the real working rigs showcases or not. And if they do, I can show them those comments and I can say, let's do more of these. And we definitely will. And I can maybe have a little more fun with the real working rigs because I think these are cool. This is especially awesome. All of them are. Anyway, guys, let me know. Put comments in the comment section, not just here in the live chat. I'm going to go. Happy Sunday to all of you. Look forward to seeing you guys tonight for the... Uh, Willie's Gasser video, it's a good one. Like I said, it's over the top dramatic. You guys will uh, probably put, smile and giggle a little bit about how dramatic it is, but uh, that's what I love doing. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching.